Good afternoon, everybody. This is Karen Martz, and we've got Freedom the Parrot in the background. All right, guys, wearing jeans as always. It's been freezing cold here. It was like 34 degrees this morning. Um, today's necklace. Now, check this out. Let's see. I have to film in the mirror. It's the only way to get Freedom and I in. This necklace came from Alligator Adventure. It is a real alligator tooth. And then let me show you my earrings. Now, these actually came from uh, the alligator form. It's called St. Augustine Alligator Form. I think they have a longer name in Zoological Park or something like that. But, I don't know if you can see this. Before anybody starts getting upset, alligators have 80 teeth. They actually go through 3,000 teeth in a lifetime. Okay? So, these teeth fall out. Oh, and I don't know if you'll be able to see this. Hey, Freedom. There's a little... I never could figure this out. A little tiny alligator on the front of this. Can you see it? A little tiny alligator. Does this one have it? Yeah, this one has it too. So little tiny alligators are on. Anyway, I do have one more. Actually, I have two more uh, alligator necklaces. I have one that's got a, a shorter tooth. Like these are more pointy. Um, but I have a shorter one. And then I have I have little alligator earrings. Just tiny alligator. Hey, Freedom. But, um, but here's the scoop. Hey, Freedom. I love alligators, and for those of you that just joined Caramart YouTube, um, a couple of alligator videos you may want to look at that are my favorite. First of all, look up, see this, Savannah National Wildlife Refuge? Look up, I don't remember the exact title because I, I filmed 49 alligators in one day, not kidding. But then I did 15 gators in a single day also. You want to look up Orange Alligator Savannah National Wildlife Refuge, okay? That's number one, because they're lying in the, um, they were lying in the mud. We have, you know, clay down here in Savannah, which is 45 minutes away. Look up that. Um, secondly, if you want to see huge alligators, I went to Edisto Island Serpentarium every year, sometimes twice a year. That's up in Charleston. Look how cute. Um, look up. Alligators, Edistal, and Serpentarium, Karen Martz, and that'll blow you away. And then look, this little uh, ceramic gator with a baby, that was at the Reptile Lagoon. But in Gatorland, I'm fixing to pump out a bunch of videos from there. I still have 400 to post. One, me riding on the alligator, but I had to blur out the people. Woo! Always fun. I don't normally edit my videos, just FYI. But the, here's a bald eagle. The alligator videos I would like you to see are three. One is alligator attacks white ibis chick and jumps vertically. You don't see anything bad. That's the one on my YouTube channel. If you look under the word about, I think, wall-to-wall -wall media over at the UK and Animal Planet. They did a really cool show, which you can look at the reruns. Um, Freedom. Oh, God. It's called Nature's Strangest Mystery Solve. Freedom's running because he, he must have seen something outside. Freedom, what is it? Either a bald eagle... Or a raccoon. Freedom, what is it? Of course, I can't see anything. I'll have to look because we've had the bald eagles flying around. <laughs> you saw how fast he started running. Okay, so look at alligator attacks white ibis chick and jumps vertically. And that was a gator in 2014 that attacked a white ibis juvenile that's brown. And I did a couple videos on it. Freedom, it's okay. All right, some, somebody must be throwing something from upstairs or something that's scaring him. Uh, the second one is my first video ever on Caramarch YouTube was uh, Sea Pines Alligator Moves Sideways. And Sea Pines is spelled S-E-A Pines, P-I-N-E-S. So it's Sea, S-E-A Pines. Sea Pines Alligator Moves Sideways. And that was a huge, that was, that was at least a 12-foot gator, maybe bigger. And it went down an embankment and it moved sideways. Um, and the third one, really there's four. The third gator video I'd love you to see is Caramarch in Shock as alligator comes out of Ibis Pond, because I was moving backwards. I was I didn't realize a gator was coming up. It was a mom gator. People were screaming behind me. I told them to quit running. And then uh, the last one, which I shot just uh, last summer, uh, I think the title was Enormous Alligator um, Walks Into Ibis Pond. That alligator had crossed the road, and I had already been filming for two hours. I was so tired. I had two tote bags. I was really out of breath. <laughs> All right, Freedom. All right, well, we'll sign off live and then we'll get a video of Freedom 
flying across the room. Have a great day.